So Elena's gone. The big plan is that I'm looking after the boat for a while, probably a month, maybe a bit more, and then I'll fly back, we're gonna have the baby. The short term plan is for me to get out of this marina. I've been to the office and sorted all that out. I've just got to slip the lines, spin off, and head out the channel here. It's actually blowing quite heavy winds, which is pushing me against the deck, so I'm gonna to have to get a guy who's gonna come and meet me in a sec. Sizzler, who took Elena to the airport. Good old Sizzler. <laughs> He's, uh, yeah, Sizzler's a legend. It's weird, like, I don't know how many movies I'll actually end up making. There's gonna definitely be daily videos of the single-handed sail up the coast. Water coming everywhere, dripping down here. I got my phone wet, like, Jesus. But apart from that, I'll just, I'll just make some when I can. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Jenny sits by the window all day, waiting, waiting. She hasn't said a word since he left for work. Wedding gifts strip round her neck, no ring. Her hands. She likes to wear such beautiful clothes, but doesn't care for brands. Ah. So a lot of what I'm doing now is just looking at different bombies, dodging stuff, having a play on this, and cleaning up that gigantic mess that I left down there. Because as you're leaving, you want to get everything up and out so it doesn't get tangled around the props. So I was just throwing everything out of the way. And then once, I, once it's out here, I've got the sails set. I've just got to dodge a few bombies. And that's when I can really get into tidying everything up. Or just having a relax. Beautiful. Very, very nice. I close the blinds so the neighbors don't see that which they can't understand. Such a shame she'll this never is see. One of those bombies just here, which I had to go around without accidentally driving. All good day. I saw a bombie and I decided to go this side and I jived the headsail, I kept the mainsail there. I thought I would. And I, I don't think that we would have hit it anyway, but it's just one of those things where you just gotta keep being careful. wind just swung all the way to on a beam just because of the island. Because we're on the other side of the island it's doing different funny things so I had to go downwind a bit and then I'll have to sneak up again but uh, that brought the apparent wind speed right up so I had to, I definitely had to go downwind a bit but I mean I'm here talking to you so nothing too bad's going on. There's a few boats around, we're pretty happy. The anchorage is just over there so and the wind swung again. So I'll just go 20 degrees to starboard again. So the plan is on the western side of the island, there are some shallow patches which I don't want to be going through at 10, 12 knots we were doing before. The wind is coming from behind us like this. We're going this way, 
the wind is coming from behind us. I'm going to spin around into the wind, loosen off on the uh, main sheet and drop the main sail. To do that, I'll need to tighten up on the head sail, spin around, drop the main sail, and I'm just going to sneak through the shallow stuff just with the head sail because it'll still be behind us. And then um, I'll be able to navigate. If I need to, I'll turn the engines on. And then when I'm, when I'm directly out from the anchorage, I'll then go downwind a bit, turn the engines on, and I should only have to motor in about a mile, maybe even less than that. I've got two miles to go, but when you go on 10 knots, that comes up very quickly, so I've, got to, I've sort of got to go. We'll just go and check on this, see if it's all right. Perfect. Now, I've got nothing to do. I'm gonna get really bored here. It's windy. It's too windy to go spear fishing in our tender. Like, that'd be just extraordinarily unpleasant. So I'm just gonna to have to keep myself busy on board. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Open these windows first, it's hot. And so swiftly by Colonel Cathcart took root in the soldiers around him who'd been playing basketball with him and who had let him come as close to making friends with him. But McWatt was never as impressed with Milo. For McWatt's tent, the piece of bedsheet now belonged to Yasserian. Half the bedsheet is yours. Dude's just swam out to the boat. I think he's a patron, so. There's only so many ultramers. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is awesome. I'll tell you about our journey in a second, but okay. this is like bliss. <laughs> this is amazing. There you go. Thank you. No worries. What do you catch on that? So we've got on board Steve and Beata, who you can't see because there's a sun <laughs> behind. That's Beata. Hello. And Steve. How you doing? Who is a patron of ours, so uh, he got he got to come on board. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> and what happened? You just, you, just came, you just came swimming swam out. I'm about like a, maybe uh, close to a mile. Saw the boat. I mean, there's only so many ultramers around here, and I don't know. We got about halfway, and I was like, all right, let me check, because she's like, what if it's not the boat? We got to swim all the way back. I know. I was like, see, we get are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> I wasn't even sure that I would be able to like swim back after she we She did good though, but <laughs> as we got closer, I saw the little wheel on the front and I was like, that's them. And sure enough, we got even closer and I started yelling your name and you came out and I'm like, can we come on board? <laughs> <laughs> We're not crazy. <laughs> I really wish Elena was here though. It would have been nice to meet the both of you, but super You're stuck stoked. with me, mate. This was a little- Apologies. Meant, no, not at all. <laughs> to be like I said the journey was a little crazy getting out here but timing like that's that's really awesome great can't appreciate it more I was just doing what I thought was single-handed sailing. I was just getting right into the lonely zone, like you know, reading books by myself and stuff like that. It's been good to hang out for the afternoon. It's been a pleasure. I just dropped off Steve, Valentine, and Beata, and I just dropped them off in the tender. And I know a lot of people are going to write in and say that's unsafe. I thought that I would have a little bit of a chat about that. Ah! Oh, got him. There's two things, obviously, that you can think about. One is that I would hate to miss out on meeting people like that. He was a legend, she was really nice, and we had an awesome afternoon, and I guess the main thing was, he was just so stoked to come on board, have a chat, look at the boat, and um, it's difficult for me to say this without being basically up myself how do i explain how stoked he was whilst you know apparently trying to remain humble i don't think that you can so it's a great time had by all he's <laughs> stoked he's amped he's so happy that i am too and so the three of us just had a really good time there's a lot of questions going really fast really thick i had to get them back because they got to get on a cruise ship tonight and head off but um the safety side of things is okay you've got two people coming out i actually recognized his name so he said, I'm a patron of yours, I'm Steve Valentine. And I was like, okay, I recognise your name. Come on board, let's um, have a chin wag. To be perfectly honest, I'm a bit lonely anyway. <laughs> so it worked out perfectly fine. But I'm going to have a kid soon. So uh, I guess I wanted to ask people, what do you think? Should we have rules? Should we just let it, let it all go? Should it just be, should we have a flag that we raise? Should I be worried? Should there be like, oh, no one on board at all ever? I don't know, what would you do? Really interested to hear what people think is the best course of action for me, Elena, and our little man. 
So if you can write that in the comment section below, that'd be really handy. I'll have a read through that and I genuinely would like to know what people think. And whilst you're there, give the video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe. Dinner. Our bond will only grow more real. And then taking off all his clothes after the Avignon mission and going around without them. Woo! <laughs>